play the Artemis Project, designed by J Daryl Chow and Daniel Rochi, art by Dominic Mayer, published by Grand Gamers Guild, 1 to 5 players, playtime, 60 to 75 minutes. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Now let's get going. Win by building the most successful colony. Set up. Place game board in center of the table. Next to game board, place supply piles of minerals, energy toolkits, expedition badges, and five times tokens. Place four engineers, marines, and stewards near the academy. Set aside one pioneer per player and put the rest of the colonists in the draw bag or the spaceship. Put ocean surface building tiles in two separate shuffled decks near the granary shuffle event cards and draw six to form the face down event deck put event marker near the near deck shuffle expedition deck and place it face down near base camp player setup players take player mat and the dice in their color Place three minerals, three energy, one toolkit, and one pioneer, the one left out earlier, and puts them on their player mats. Select starting player at random and gives them the phase marker. Each player takes their two player markers and puts them on their, on their scoring track and the relief track. Board setup. These steps will be taken at the beginning of every round. Base camp. Discard all expedition cards from previous round and lay out new cards. One less than the number of players. Fence. Discard remaining energy. Look at top left corner of expedition cards. Add that much energy plus two. And make sure you do the same for the quarry. Gantry. Add building tiles equal to the number of players. Ocean tiles for round one two and three surface for four five and six max of eight buildings in gantry doorstep add columnists to at random equal to the numbers of players plus two max of 12 columnists event reveal top card of event deck and read aloud place event marker on letter indicated this will tell players when event is triggered during the round how to play the placement phase. All players roll their dice to form dice pool. Players take turns placing one dice at a time, beginning with the start player, until all dice have been placed. Base cap. Place die next to expedition card. Subsequent placements will go above uh, existing dice. The goal is to meet or exceed the number listed on top right of card in order to gain rewards listed on the bottom of the card. You may send colonists on expeditions for benefits, depending on type. Vent and query. Place die next to the right of all existing dice that are equal to or lower than your die. This will later determine how many resources you receive. Doorstep. Same placement rules as vents and query, but all recruits cost two energy apiece. Academy. Place die along with any type of colonist. Only two spots available per turn and die values determines what the colonist will become. If that colonist type is not available in the academy, it is a wasted action. Outfitter, place die and immediately receive number of toolkits depicted. No limit to the number of dice which can be sent to the outfitters. The resolution phase. Resolve the six numbered regions in numerical order. Making sure to read the event cards and if follow the instructions when event marker is reached. Base camp. Resolve each expedition starting with the one closest to the 
deck. And working away, if the combined number is lower than the number on the expedition card, the expedition card failed. All players with dice there receive nothing and move to one on the relief track. If the total meets or exceeds the number, the expedition was successful. The player with the highest value receives one expedition badge and picks one of the rewards shown on the card section. Places receive one expedition badge and the reward not already chosen. Fence and quarry, beginning with the leftmost die and proceeding right, the owner of the die takes a resource from the pool equal to the die's value until resources run out. If a player receives nothing for a die, they move up on the relief track. Gantry, resolve each tile with a die on it separately. The player with the highest number die has the option to buy that building for the number of resources present presented on the die. If the player chooses not to purchase, they get nothing and the player with the next higher die gets the option. If purchased before receiving a buying option, move up one on the relief track. Doorstep. Starting on the leftmost die, players have the choice of claiming colonists for two energy each, up to the number of the dice. Gain one on the relief track if there are no colonists left before processing your die. Academy. Starting on the left, gain appropriate colonists from the academy. If that colonist is not in the academy, the turn is wasted. Relief track. Whenever you gain on the relief track, choose either resource above or one already passed to collect. The upkeep phase. One move swap of colonists. Activate fully staffed buildings, pay one energy for each colonist in shelter, and discard the rest. Refresh game board, player with the fewest resources starts the next round. Game ends and scoring. One VP for every five energy and minerals not combined. VP for fully staffed surface buildings. VP based on total number of buildings. 3 VP for each complete set of 4 colonist types. 1 VP for every 3 colonists not part of set. VP based on number of expedition badges. 2 VP for most toolkits. Even if tied, most VP win! If tied, whoever gets, whoever went earlier in turn order during the final round wins! We played this game at a friend's house, and it was one of the super, it was like our first super duper hard, like, game, but it was so, so much fun. And I think that it's perfect for, like, a first really hard game, and it's also super duper fun, as long as you play it with other people.